Thank you for tuning in, to another episode, of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. For today's episode, we will take a quick look at the family tree, of one of the most controversial political families, in the recent years. The Paro Hinogs. As a disclaimer, the family tree presented here is partial and incomplete, and only those members who have appeared in newspaper and TV are presented. Other members of the family are intentionally excluded to protect their privacy. The Paro Hinog family has been on the news for decades now, thanks to the notoriety that was started by their patriarch, Octavio Paro Hinog, who was the leader of the infamous Curatong Bail and Crime Syndicate. However, just recently, they once again made the news when siblings Melodina Paro Hinog Malingin and Ricardo Paro Hinog, both in detention, died just days apart. These latest two deaths are just another additions to the violent deaths that met many members of the Paro Hinogs over the years. The Paro Hinogs hail from the northern Mindanao, specifically from the province of Misamis Occidental. Their hometown is the city of Azamis. While the Paro Hinog surname is scattered all throughout the Philippines, it would appear that when spelled with a J, 60% of its members can be found in regions 10, 11, and 12. It is also spelled with an H or a G. And due to the interchangeability of the Cebuano D and R, it also appears as Padojanog. These variations are only found as most populous in seven municipalities scattered among western Visayas, northern, and central Mindanao. And with almost 30% found in Misamis, it is thus clear that Misamis indeed is the epicenter of the Paro Hinog last name. Paro Hinog is quite a rare surname, and most likely everyone carrying in and its derivatives are related. As of 2019, there are only 2,205 people carrying it as a last name, with 28% of these in Misamis Occidental. Paro Hinog is derived from two Cebuano words, Paro or Paru, which means to cook rice or corn grits until they are very dry, and from Hinog, which means mature, ripe, or aged. Put together, it may indicate cooking mature rice or corn grits until dry. All the earliest ancestors of the Paro Hinogs on the maternal line, could be traced to Azami city. There is, in fact, an interesting connection of the family with the city itself. The most known patriarch of the family, Octavio, married Rosalinda Azamis. The city's name is, in fact, derived from the Azami's last name. The name of the city is from Don Jose Azami's Y. Fortich, A. was a Spanish Filipino politician from Mindanao. And as a family, though there are one or two carrying it in 10 other cities and municipalities, of the 106 Ozemises in 2019, 91 can be found in Azami city. It is then highly possible that the Paro Hinogs are related in one way or another to the original Azami's family of Mindanao. The farthest traceable ancestors of the Paro Hinogs are the maternal great-grandparents of Octavio. These were Severino Acapulco and Feliciana Sabornal. They were the grandparents of Octavio's mother, Leona Acapulco. His father's name was Anastasio Paro Hinog. The Kuratong Bal Alang was named after a bamboo instrument, similar to a bell, that was used to alert villagers of incoming attacks. The Kuratong Bal Alang's first leader was Octavio Paro Hinog, Sr., who came from an influential family. It was said that since the 70s, politicians would court the Paro Hinogs to bolster their chances of winning elections, since the family was known to have resources to protect politicians and tycoons alike. The Kuratong Bal Alang also had the support of the people. Because of his generosity to the poor, Octavio was called the Robin Hood of Lawis by the regular townsfolk, with Lawis referring the poor barangays where the initial members of Kuratong Bal Alang also came from. 
while the military disbanded Kuratong in 1988, it was already too late. The group had grown too powerful for the military to control, and had already started to operate like the mafia. There were reports that they extorted money from most of the business establishments in the city they controlled. Those who were not able to pay were punished by having their stores looted or burned. In 1990, Octavio went to watch a cockfight where later he resisted arrest from the Philippine Constabulary and was gunned down. Over the years, as the Paro Hinog family grew, so did their influence. Just like many other families, they entered politics and began to dominate the political arena of Misamis Occidental. Octavio Jr. was a former provincial board member. Rinaldo was a longtime mayor of Azami City. Rinaldo's daughter, Nova Princess, served as his vice mayor. Nova Princess's ex-husband, Edgar Chavez, served as a barangay captain. Another son of Octavio Sr., Renato, served as provincial board member. Another son, Ricardo, was a former city councillor. A sister, Daisy, is married to another barangay captain, Artemio Salas. Like their father, the Paro Hinog children also met the same fate as their fathers. At dawn of Sunday, July 30, 2017, a raid was made in one of the Paro Hinog houses in Azami City which killed five Paro Hinogs, including Mayor Reynaldo, his wife Susan, and brother board member Octavio and sister Mona. Renato was gunned down in Manila in 2002, while just recently siblings Ricardo and Melodina, both died while in police custody. Though most of the older generations of the Paro Hinogs have died or have been taken into police custody, only time will tell what will become of the family as the younger generations soon take over. So that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something and enjoy today's episode. Watch out for another episode tomorrow at 8 a.m. Philippine Standard Time. As always, thank you for watching and stay safe always. Goodbye.